Shortwave jamming is a topic that's always intrigued me. Jamming can be defined as the deliberate interference of a radio communication system with the intent to stop or disrupt the reception of information being transmitted by the targeted communication system. Jammers can be found almost daily if you take the time to scan the shortwave bands. They can also be quite elusive, with the source not always being clear. One of the most commonly heard jamming attempts is that of the Fire Drake, a Chinese jammer that targets numerous transmissions from different broadcasters pretty much daily. North Korea also jams the broadcasts of neighbouring countries and well everyone to stop its population receiving signals that it doesn't agree with from abroad. Some of these sound terrifying, especially if you're listening in the dark at night and it pops up when you've got the volume turned up. I've made a whole host of videos on things like the Fire Drake, North Korean jammers and radio in general, and a more detailed overview on jamming which you can find in the description below. Today however I thought I'd show you a jammer I came across last night while scanning the shortwave bands. This is a siren jammer, there are a few different ones out there, all with different sounds, but this one I immediately recognised. It never changes and hasn't done for many years. Many of you ask how I go about identifying certain things on the radio, and those who are avid shortwave listeners will know how quickly you can soak up information, remember frequencies and work out what most things are, you just have to listen regularly. So let's look at the information we have on this signal. I recorded the audio clip at 2302 UTC on the frequency 13715 kHz. Looking up that frequency on shortwave info or another website will reveal that Radio Free Asia broadcasts there, so we can deduce that the Siren Jammer is likely targeting their broadcasts. Radio Free Asia uses 13715 for its Cambodian language service at this time of night. North Korea and China have always jammed Radio Free Asia's broadcasts, but they're not the only countries to do this. The siren I recorded last night is the classic Vietnamese siren jammer. Vietnam has always jammed the Vietnamese language service of Radio Free Asia until it became a digital service in recent years. It's likely however that they've continued to jam the Cambodian service due to the amount of people in Cambodia and Vietnam who share the same language. Radio Free Asia transmits on multiple frequencies at the same time, and it's not unusual to find all frequencies being jammed simultaneously by this type of jammer, or what's known as a bubble jammer. Here's a better clip. Here's a clip of a bubble jammer in action as well. Moving on now, I thought I'd include a comment I received last night in which Bangers and Mash asks about piano music he heard on 9790 kHz. I can tell you for certain what this was, but I'm not 100% sure on where it was coming from. This is the interval signal for Deutsche Welle, which I believe was radiating from the United Arab Emirates at 250 kilowatts, but I can't be certain. If anyone can shed any light on the transmitter site for this frequency at 2030 UTC, then let me know. 
An interval signal, also referred to as a tuning signal, is a purposefully characteristic sound or musical phrase used before the start of or during breaks in transmission in broadcasting. They're most commonly heard between programmes in different languages and also on number stations. They help the listener tune the exact frequency, inform other stations that the frequency is in use, and serves as a station ident, even if the language used in subsequent broadcasts is not one the listener understands. Deutsche Welle uses a melody from Fidelio, Ludwig van Beethoven's opera about an act of liberation for its signature music, and has done in many forms since the 3rd of May 1953. Interestingly, when I switched the radio to USB, I could hear a signal that sounded very much in time with a bubble jammer, albeit very faint. Let me know what you think. Switching back to AM, however, revealed a crystal clear copy of the Deutsche Welle interval signal. I hope you enjoyed this report on my late night shortwave radio adventures, and I hope that answers Bangers and Mash's question on the piano music he heard. If you'd like to find out more about the Fire Drake Jammer, how North Korea shot a man for just listening to the radio, or jamming in general, then be sure to check out the links below. <laughs>